Hi, and today we are going to study the Rangekuta method, which is also called as fourth order RK method. So, this fourth order RK method is used to find the numerical equations for an ordinary differential equation. In Rangekuta method, the value of y is calculated in the short steps for equal interval of x, and so it is also called as the step by step method. It is also used to find the starting values for the Milne's method. So we have the another method which is also called as the Taylor series method. So let me write that expression that we use for Taylor series method. So in the case of Taylor series method, we use f of x is equal to f of a plus f dash of a upon 1 factorial times x minus a plus f double dash of a upon 2 factorial times x minus a bracket square but in the case of the Taylor series method we need to find the higher order derivative but in the case of the RK method we don't need to find the higher order derivative so let's see what is the working rule for the RK fourth order or RK method is one and the same so in the case of RK method we know that if dy over dx is the function of x and y then for finding an increment k of y corresponding to an increment h of x in RK method then we need to calculate the successive values of successive values of suppose k1 is equal to the increment h and the function of x0 y0 that is the initial value of x and y and then our k2 will be equal to h times the function x0 plus h by 2 and y will be y0 plus k1 by 2 and in very similar fashion of k3 will be equal to the increment h times the function x0 plus h by 2 and this will be y0 plus k2 by 2 and our k4 will be equal to h times the function x0 plus h and y0 plus K3 and we have various softwares that can solve this ODE by making the use of RK method but this method but this approach this theoretical approach will give a specific idea that how that software actually works and what we are gonna do is in order to find the weighted mean if we like to find the weighted mean so this will be equal to 1 over 6 times k1 plus 2 times k2 plus 2 times k3 plus k4 and finally we find the required approximate value so the required approximate value will be equal to y1 that is the initial value of y that is y0 plus this k so let's solve a problem which is dependent upon the rk method so that we'll get a deep understanding regarding how that software actually works so here we have our question if dy by dx is equal to x plus y and y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0 and we need to take the increment as 0 0.2 so we know that our k1 will be equal to h times f of x0 y0 so let me take out my calculator so what we need to do is k so our increment is 0 0.2 times the value of the function when x is 0 and y is 0 so here we have our function so this will be 0 plus 
y0 is 1 so this will be times 1 which is will be equal to 0 0.2 and k2 is equal to h times f of x0 plus h by 2 and y0 plus k1 by 2 so this will be equal to 0 0.2 times f of x0 is 0 0 plus our uh, increment is 0 0.2 0 0.2 by 2 so this will be 0 0.1 and our y will be equal to 1 plus k1.2 by 2 and this will be 1.1 so we are going to find the value of the function at this point so this will be 0.1 plus 1.1 equals to 1.2 times 0.2 so this will be equal to 0 0.24 and our k3 will be equal to now h times f of x0 plus h by 2 and this will be y0 plus k2 by 2 so this will be our increment is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 f of x0 is 0 plus 0.2 over 2 so this will be equal to 0 0.1 and our y0 is 1 plus k2 is 0.24 by 2 and this is 1.12 and we are going to find the value of the function at this point so this will be 0.1 plus 1.12 times 0.2 so this will be equal to 0 0.244 and finally our k4 will be equal to h times f of x0 plus h and y0 plus k3 so this will be equal to k4 is equal to increment 0 0.2 and f of x0 is 0 plus h will be 0.2 and our y will be equal to 1 plus k3 0.244 so this will be 1.244 and we are going to find the value of the function at this point so this will be 0.2 plus 1.244 times the increment 0.2 and this will be 0 0.2888 and finally the weighted mean k will be equal to 1 by 6 inside the bracket k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 so this will be equal to 1 over 6 times our k1 is 0.2 plus 2 into 0.24 plus 2 into 0 0.2 44 plus 0.2888 so the weighted mean is equal to 0 0.2428 and now hence the approximate value of y will be equal to therefore the approximate value of y will be equal to the initial value of y that is 1 plus the weighted mean so this will be 0 0.2428 and this is equal to 1.2428 so this was all the information that how the software which is dependent upon the RK fourth order method actually works and we'll meet in other video by taking the another numerical equation for ordinary differential equation and thank you for watching this video